Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome to God's Hiller 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, <clears throat> and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. I'm going to be in the New King James Version Study Bible, and I'm going to be starting in uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew, uh, let's see, Matthew chapter 10, verses 16 to 23. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and scourge you in their synagogues. You will be brought before governors and kings for my sake as a testimony to them and to the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak, for it will be given to you in that hour what you should speak, for it is not you who speak but the spirit of your father who speaks in you. Now brother will deliver up brother to death, and father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death, and you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in this city, flee to another. For assuredly I say to you, you will not have gone through the cities of Israel before the Son of Man comes. I hope I can make it through this one. The next scripture is going to be Matthew 24, <clears throat> verse 9. They will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you, and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. So if you uh, noticed, I put a little... Uh, indication I was going to be putting this prophecy up and again the title of it is for my name's sake and this is painful and I know I have to read it so I hope I could get through it you will be betrayed for my name's sake you will be imprisoned for my name's sake you will be beaten for my name's sake you will be tortured for my name's sake. You will be starved for my name's sake. You will be abandoned for my name's sake. Your women and children will be brutalized and killed for my name's sake. You will be beheaded for my name's sake. You will be crucified for my name's sake. You will be murdered for my name's sake. You will be martyred for my name's sake. Men will swear, swear falsely about you for my name's sake. You will be left in the streets to die for my name's sake. You will be forced from your home, from your land, and from your country, for my name's sake. Nation will rise against nation, for my name's sake. Children will rise against parents, for my name's sake. Husbands will rise against wives, for my name's sake. If you do not renounce my name and confess out loud, you will be put to death. The body will die, but the spirit lives on. When they take you and hand you over to the authorities, be silent, speak not a word, for I shall put my words in your mouth at the appointed time. And take comfort and have understanding that the spirit is eternal. No man can take you out of my hand. That which the Father has promised me cannot be removed. So again, we know we're in the latter days. I don't usually watch TV, but when I do put it on, it's horrible. And pretty much when I was in prayer yesterday about this um, prophecy I got, I... Um, was pondering on all of the, the videos 
uh, that have to do with, with this prophecy. And um, I put them up on our Facebook channel, Godzilla7 Facebook. You might, um, if you're a new subscriber, you might want to like us on Godzilla7 Facebook. And I did put all of the messages up, the old videos that went with um, this prophecy. So again, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And God bless you all and be safe. And again, we are in the latter times, the end of days. And um, make sure your house is in order because the Lord's coming back soon. Amen. God bless.